would like to educate you how to select your pigment color according to your clients. This is very important subject. We have different collections. Right here, we have our main collection. This is actually in your kit as well as the correctors. The correctors or modifiers. Right here, we have the Latina collection. The Latina collection does not come in your kit. For example, a lot of people think that you will select the pigment accordingly to your client's hair color. This is really not correct because if you look at me, I'm blonde, but if you look at my eyebrows, they are brown. So I cannot use the pigment blonde. For example, if you have a client that has very, very light skin, but jet black hair. You cannot use the color blonde because she has really light skin. You have to go with the color dark brown or super dark brown. So how do you select the color? You're gonna look at their eyebrow hair. What if they don't have eyebrow hair? Then you're gonna look their head hair. What if they don't have head hair? Then you're gonna select it accordingly to their most popular wig, okay? So let's go through the whole collections here one by one and I will educate you how to select it. Right here we have the color blonde. Blonde is a ashy taupey color. So it is very suitable for a blonde or older clients who have gray hair. for Fitzpatrick number one, if you uh, go with the Fitzpatrick scale. I will also tell you which Fitzpatrick. So right here, you have light brown. Light brown is just a little bit darker than blonde, but it is a lot warmer. So it is very good for light brown or dark blonde clients. Fitzpatrick number two. Right here, you have medium brown. Medium brown, very simple. It's for, you know, medium brown hair. It's for Fitzpatrick III. Right here, we have dark brown. Dark brown is very simple for dark brown hair, and it is for Fitzpatrick number four. Right here, we have super dark brown. Super dark brown, as you could imagine, is for very, very dark brown hair, but not like black. And it is for Fitzpatrick number five. Right here, we have black onyx. Black onyx is not a black color. It is just a very, very, very dark brown. But it is used for dark skin, both for microblading and micro shading and powder brows because when you have a Fitzpatrick 6 you really don't want to do just microblading you could use this color also for Fitzpatrick 5 if it's just microblading right here we have our corrector or modifier this is a color orange orange is used to modify or to correct a gray or bluish tones. You could add this to your brown uh, pigments, the main collection, uh, to make the colors warmer. This is a yellow corrector and this is only used to correct violet tones. It is not for blonde because it looks yellow. Same thing goes for the orange. Orange cannot be used for redheads. This is used for redheads. This is our Latina light. Latina light is for redheads or it's like a medium brown or for uh, light colored Latinas. Not just for Latinas, anybody who has olive skin tone. Who could that be? Arabic. Turkish, uh, Middle Eastern, all kind, all, everywhere in the Middle East, Israelis, uh, Spanish, uh, Italian, uh, even Asian. Some Asian could be uh, Latina collection because they simply have 
uh, olive skin tone color. Right here, you have medium Latina. The medium Latina is for medium brown hair for Latinas. It is kind of like a darker brown uh, tone. Right here, you have the Latina dark. This is also for dark hair Latina and um, it's very good for, again, you know, we talked about this uh, Middle Eastern, um, dark uh, Asians or uh, Spanish, Italian, olive skin tone. I hope this was helpful for you.